I'm Megan McDavid. This is Look News On Demand for February 5th. It could be days before investigators are able to start sifting through the rubble at one of Warren County's biggest fires. Warren County Fire Coordinator Brian LaFleur tells Look News that the former SCA Tissue Warehouse on Big Bay Road is still smoldering three days after the massive fire. Fire departments from across the region were called to the warehouse around 1.45 a.m. Saturday. The massive amounts of recycled paper inside the building fueled the flames. LaFleur says investigators hope to be able to access the site later this week. A white water guide will spend up to a year in jail after an Ohio woman fell out of their raft and died on an Adirondack River. The Postar reports that 38-year-old Rory Fay of North Creek was sentenced after he pleaded guilty in November to criminally negligent homicide and other charges of the death of 53-year-old Tamara Blake of Columbus. State police say Fay was drunk when he and Blake fell out of the raft last September. Blake drowned. The Saratoga Springs City Council will Tuesday night make moves to help protect rail service coverage in our area. The council is expected to pass a resolution urging the federal government to maintain Amtrak's Ethan Allen route between New York City and Rutland, Vermont. That train comes through Saratoga Springs and Fort Edward and could be eliminated under a new service review. Also during tonight's meeting will be a presentation, the Empire State Passengers Association on the status and potential future of railroads in the spa city. And you can see the Saratoga City Council meetings right here on Look TV, Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. and Sundays at noon. The Adirondack Theatre Company has a new general manager. Look News welcomes Landry Bach to the area. Bach comes to the Glens Falls from Water Tower Theatre in Dallas, Texas. ATF's 19th season will be held at the Wood Theatre in downtown Glens Falls this summer and will include the world premiere of filming O'Keefe by Eric Lane and Tony Award winning musical Avenue Q. And that's all for this web edition. You can catch us weeknights, 536 and 10 p.m. We are on Time Warner Cable channels 8 and 508.